All right, let's continue. <clears throat> the display changes to show thumbnail graphics of the content of each file. So you can see here the thumbnail, thumbnail. A thumbnail graphic of a data can help you decide quickly whether you want to use the data or not. Notice that there is no thumbnail graphic for countries. When a thumbnail graphic hasn't been cre created, you will see only a large version of the feature class icon. Next, you will create a thumbnail graphic for the countries feature class. In the arc, uh, in the arc catalog tree, click the country's feature class in the world database. In the catalog display, click the preview. So now countries, and we're going to go to preview. Very good. So the country polygons are displayed in pale yellow. So all polygons are displayed in pale yellow when preview in arc catalog. Points are displayed black and limes in navy blue. So let's see. Um, this is black for point and navy blue for limes and pale yellow for polygons. On the geography toolbar, so now geography toolbar, and we're going to click create thumbnails button. An image of the data show on the preview, uh, preview tab is saved as a thumbnail graphic. So let's find the geographic toolbar. So there are two options. You can show table that you can get the attribute table. And this is right here. Um, so here, create thumbnail that we're going to click this. And now when we go back to content and we see the thumbnail and we go back to world and you can see our country thumbnail. So in the arc catalog display, click the content tab to see the new thumbnail graphic we already did. So now we go back here again and now we can see our um, country thumbnail. A thumbnail graphic gives you a quick visual of the data. So you can see this is world map. But you may want to view the data in more detail. So the preview tab, preview tab, and the tools on the geography toolbar, toolbar let you investigate a data set further before you decide whether you want to use it on a map. Click the preview tab to see country data set at full size. Um, and we already did, this is full size. On the geography to bar, um, in the geography to bar, click the zooming tool. So now we're going to get the zooming tool. Right here, zooming tool. And then we're going to drag to a box around the area of North Australia and show in here. In I'm going to pause a little bit so you can see better. On the geography toolbar, click the identify tool. So now we're going to get identify tool. So it's just like in arc map. So those basic tools, map tools are here. So identify tool is still with the blue background with the eye um, in the middle, in the center part of it. So we click that. Um, now click the feature located in the graphic and identify it. So if we don't see the feature um, that we can see it from here, uh, Papua New Guinea, um, Papua New Guinea. 
and we click on the map, move the identify result window away from the display and click the feature again. So let's do it again. So you can see the green thing. Is Papua New Guinea a UN number state? You may see that we can scroll down. So let me drag out. Um, yes, it's the UN number state. So close the identify result window. Use the pan tool from the geography toolbar. So we can use the pan tool again. Wow. And then we go to move around. So it it's the same like in arc map for the pan tool. If we scoot to the right, there is nothing. And we scoot back. Oh, sorry. I have, I messed up. So let's go back to extend view. Uh oh, I click arc map. Sorry. So now let's just wait a little bit until my computer responds. And then next we're going to click the full extent button again to zoom to the full extent of the data. You can preview the attribute of data set as well as its geography. So now we're going to close this up. Um, oop. And hit cancel. No. There. So now we close it up. And now um, full extent view. Okay, now full extent view. Everything's back to normal. Um, now we're going to see geography and we switch to table as I did before. So at the bottom of the category display, the preview menu and click table. So it's right here. Preview menu, we can switch from table or geography. The display shows the attribute table of the country's feature class. So now back to table. So now we see it's table. Now scroll through the attribute column. So we're going to do that. Wow, that's a lot of information, right? Sometimes attributes have um, scriptic names. Many organizations uh, maintain a data dictionary, which decodes and describes attributes. When you are finished looking, click the preview menu again and click geography. So now we switch back. Bye bye, crazy table. Oh, I clicked the wrong thing. Sorry. Okay. The third tab on the um, category display, the description tab. So we're going to do that. Description tab. Okay. Now I'm going to load a little bit. And we click geography back. Um, so which display mental data essentially data about data. So this is about our mental data, data about data. Our catalog doesn't require you to maintain uh, mental data, but it is considered best practice to do so. And many organizations require metadata to ensure data standardization and quality. Um, in the category display, click the description tab. So we already did right here. If you need to scroll down to the same, uh, see the thumbnail graphic you created as well as key tags summary, key tags, thumbnail is right here, key tags right here. And then we have uh, summary, description, summary, description, credits who made the data. Uh, from the US, yeah, face, uh, fact books, air pollution stuff, blah, 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 and the use limits. So use limits. Okay. Um, and notice the metadata shows a different name, world country instead of countries. So world country right here. In Geo database, many changes to feature class names are not automatically reflected in the metadata. One technique for documenting data sources is to maintain the original name world countries in the metadata. Even even you renamed the actual fe actual feature class countries, or you can change the original name in the metadata using the addict function described here okay now we can do added and we can change things title um you can change a bunch of things to rewrite things 
Now click uh, the Add to button on the uppermost bar inside the description to access metadata about the country feature class. So metadata documents can be re uh, created and added on the description tab. Scroll down to see what type of uh, metadata can be entered. So uh, everything, almost everything we can change and we can also sh uh, show the appear appropriate scale uh, range. So we can just delete something if you don't like it. Let's just delete this and I can, it can be used for everybody. Just kidding. So many organizations are required adherence to strict metadata standard. You can choose different style of metadata to be accordance with various national or international standards. For more information about metadata and the style supported by ArcGIS, we can consult the Arc um, GIS desk help, a uh, desktop help on the main menu. Click help. So let's just go ahead to do it. Help, and then about our um, desktop help, and we navigate to Geoda data types and metadata. Uh, we will go close everything up, and we go to uh, home. So content tab, we don't need this anymore, content tab. Okay, content tab, we go to geodata. We have to save it first. We don't need to mount, validate it. Um, content tab, uh, go to geodata and contents tab. Right here, contents tab. Okay, uh, right here is contents tab. Uh, we go to geodata. Not here, sorry. Okay, we moved on to the next. In the catalog display, click the content tab. Uh, in the catalog tree, this is content tab. Okay. This stored the display to the initial state. Uh, on the standard to bar, click the detail button. Let's click it again. Content and detail. Detail. Um, and we go back to content tab, navigate to drill data, data types, and metadata. Okay, I'll see you in a minute.